They're gonna put the guns right here. When they are done, they're gonna leave. Then Tweedledee and Tweedledum can load them up into your little clown car. And you're the first one I'm gonna take down if this goes south, big lad. It's probably a good idea, Grandpa. Hi everyone, Vegas from Critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard, here to review the film Free Fire, written and directed by Ben Wheatley, a name I think you should really pay attention to. You're going to hear about a lot of this guy probably in the next couple years. And uh, also starring Army Hammer, Shalto Copley, and uh, uh, Killian Murphy, just a great cast about two gangs who show up at this abandoned warehouse to do a gun exchange. So one group wants to buy arms. Uh, it takes place in 1978. So they're buying it for the Irish Republican Army, the IRA. So Killian Murphy is buying guns from Copley and of course things go wrong. So it's almost like a Reservoir Dogs where you're, the entire movie takes place in one set, in one area. So it's, it could be like Reservoir Dogs or even like a play. So I, I thought the premise of that, the challenge of that, also in real time, it's going to be, you know, really how does this director are going to execute the story. How is he going to pull this off? Because if you've read anything about this movie, yes, it's a gun battle for 70 minutes going on back and forth between the 10, 12 characters in this movie. And you're thinking to yourself, well, how is the director going to pull this off? This is a really ambitious movie in terms of, you know, he's the director is really putting himself in a corner. You have one set, all these characters, and you're firing each other. So how do you keep the interest of the audience? So overall, I applaud the director, Ben Wheatley, at trying something really ambitious like this, because I think it's brilliant what he was trying to do with executive producer Martin Scorsese. You know, so Scorsese saw something in this too. Now, here's here's my problem. Well, here's what I was thinking during the movie as I, as it was unfolding. There's two ways to execute this film, because you have all these different characters, then also you have all these gun battles going on. So the movie sometimes, it really needed to concentrate on what kind of movie it wanted to be. Is it going to be a movie where it concentrate on the characters and get to know some of them and understand their backstories and their actions, which he gives us a little bit, or is it going to just be constantly shooting at each other, doing one-liners, and you really don't have anything invested in these characters and you're just waiting for them to shoot each other off? And I'm sure that you boys would like to leave with the weapons. Fuck! Go for the case! What? You're a bird, they're not going to shoot the bird! Ah! Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh, you little asshole! Ah! I think he concentrated more on doing the gun battles, so there was a lot of gunplay going on. Everyone's hiding behind something, a van or a pillar or a piece of concrete. This is a really dank looking warehouse that looks like it's almost been bombed out from war or something like that. So you have, uh, you know, all these different characters who are trying to survive, mostly. So. It's, you know, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but you know, you know, a lot of people die, some people survive, so it's kind of like a guessing game, who's going to live and who's going to die, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really that simple, you know, so it does break down some of the characters you do get to know, but it's just on a, like a superficial basis, you know, I wish he would have concentrated on some more backstory, you know, there is a scene before they go in the warehouse where they're all parking their cars and they're discussing the deal going in there, I wish they would have kind of concentrated that more on some more of the characters so we had just a little more backstory I really did because after a while there are there are times in the movie where like especially in the middle where it just drags it really just slows down and then when the gunplay picks up again you have music behind it so I don't know I, I I'm not trashing this film because I really admire what he was trying to do and I think I need to see it at least one or two more times to really appreciate the complexity of this movie this guy must have had 5,000 edits in this movie and I don't mean edits that annoy you it's just there's so much going on with people placed all around this warehouse it's just a logistical nightmare I can't imagine seeing that shooting script the continuity girl must have been just going crazy because there was a lot of chances for error in this movie and sometimes you probably can't you can't catch it because you're shooting and cu just cutting just so many different areas. So on a technical level, I just admire this film from hell. Uh, from a story point of view, I just think it was slow in parts, and you know I really wanted an investment more in the characters. And I think my favorite character all of them was uh, Army Hammer. I, he's this real pretty boy who's kind of like an in between the gangs, like a like a broker. So I thought he I really liked him, and uh, also Copley was really good too. I think he's one of my favorite actors out there. When I see him turn up in something like this, he's some sort of dandy who really doesn't know what he's doing, but he wants to be a player in this gun underworld and he really isn't he's kind of a moron so you know it's really ambitious if you want to see something that's really cool uh in terms of its execution and what this director is trying to pull off you know and it's got that whole kind of retro vibe to it because it's 1978 check out free fire all right for more reviews and interviews surf on over to my website at vegasfilmcritic.com also check me out on social media facebook instagram twitter i'd love to hear from you also if you like what you see please subscribe 1000 subscribers by memorial day that's my goal also comment below share thumbs up all that stuff i'm jeffrey k howard in las vegas thanks so much for joining me i'll see you next time we can't all be nice girls